Daily Visual Bible. I'm the Avatar version of Robbie Yates, and I would like to welcome you to my home in Second Life. Let me show you around. This area was designed to be a place for people to come and reflect on the Word of God. This is the building in which we keep the television that broadcasts a show that you may be familiar with. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Daily Visual Bible Land here in Second Life. Please feel free to come and visit us on the 31st of August as we host our first discussion on the book of Genesis. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 40 After these things, the butler of the king of Egypt and the baker offended their lord, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker. He put them into custody in the house of the captain of the guard, into the prison, the place where Joseph was bound. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph, and he took care of them. They stayed in prison many days. They both dreamed a dream, each man his dream. In one night, each man, according to the interpretation of his dream, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, were bound in the prison. Joseph came into them in the morning and saw them, and saw they were sad. He asked for his officers, who were with him in custody, and his masters out saying, Why do you look so sad today? They said to him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no one who can interpret it. Joseph said to them, Don't interpretations belong to God? Please tell it to me. The chief cupbearer told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, a vine was in front of me, and in the vine were three branches. It was though it budded, it blossomed, and its clusters produced ripe grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. Joseph said to him, This is its interpretation. The three branches of three days. Within three more days, Pharaoh will have up your head and restore you to your office. You will give Pharaoh's cup into his hand the way you did when you were his cupbearer, but remember me when it will be well with you. And please show kindness to me, and make mention of me to Pharaoh, and bring me out of this house, for indeed I was stolen away at the land of the Hebrews, and here also have I done nothing that they shall put me into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said to Joseph, I also was in my dream, three baskets of white bread were on my head. In the uppermost basket there were all kinds of baked food for Pharaoh and the birds ate them at the basket on my head. Joseph answered, This is his interpretation. The three baskets are three days. Within three more days, Pharaoh will lift up your head from off you, and will hang you on a tree, and the birds will eat your flesh from off you. On the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, he made a feast for all his servants, and lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer, and the head of the chief baker among the servants. He restored the chief cupbearer to his position again, and he gave the cup into the pharaoh's hand. They hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had interpreted to them, yet the chief cupbearer didn't remember Joseph, but forgot him.